Tonight, a man who served as a police officer is headed to jail for a year. He admitted to killing a seven-month-old puppy named Rocco. News Force Chris Gordon was there for the sentencing and explains why some people have very different views on whether the punishment fits the crime. Montgomery County Animal Services has received more than 600 complaints of animal cruelty and neglect this year. Officer Jeanette Wright, who was on the call when Rocco was found dead, says this is an extreme case. I was a responding officer. Um, I am pleased with the outcome. Um, unfortunately, a lot of these uh, animal cruelty cases don't get uh, that type of sentence, so I was pleased. Former Baltimore police officer Alec Taylor is spending the first night of his one-year sentence in the Montgomery County Detention Center. In August, he pleaded guilty to beating and choking Rocco, his seven-month-old Jack Russell Terrier. It happened in the Silver Spring apartment. Taylor texted Deborah Avila, his girlfriend, I almost killed Rocco. Well, I wanted to. Paraphrasing the text now, he made a mess all over the carpet after I let him outside. At today's sentencing, Avila told the judge, Rocco was not just a dog, he was a member of my family. I think it's important that he was held responsible. I think it's important he's going to jail. Taylor's parents say their son put Rocco out of his pain after the dog was injured by someone else. We're not saying that Alec wasn't culpable, that he did not do what he did, but the yeah, dog had been injured. Defense attorney Warren Brown represents Alec Taylor. The reality of it is that he snapped and killed the dog. He's lost his career. He's lost his liberty. The defense lawyer for former Baltimore officer Alec Taylor plans to come back to court to ask that the one-year sentence be modified and that his criminal conviction be expunged so that he can apply for a better job when he is released from jail. But but it is unlikely that he'll ever be a police officer again. At the Montgomery County Courthouse, Chris Gordon, News 4.